powerful morning prayer before you start your day. Hello friends, it's Joseph, and welcome to With Mary, the big family that helps you to pray. Please subscribe now and click on the bell to be sure to receive all of our new prayers and updates. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, in this morning prayer, we wish to begin our day in your presence, in your blessing, and in your light. For this prayer on Monday, April the 8th, what joy and blessing it is, dear friends, to celebrate together the great joy of the Annunciation. Thank you, Virgin Mary, for saying yes, for uttering that fiat. Let it be done to me according to your word. It's a great thanksgiving that rises from our hearts to you, O Virgin Mary, for your unconditional acceptance of the divine will, for conceiving Jesus, our Saviour, in your womb. O dawn of salvation, we love you, and we desire to love you even more, to make you loved around us. And so in thanksgiving, we ask you to hear this prayer. Mother of God and our Mother, receive our lives today. We belong entirely to you. Amen. Dear friends, may your day be blessed in the name of the Lord. And I invite you to bless the Lord this morning in the comments of the video and also to entrust the prayer intentions that you carry in particular today so that others praying may intercede for you in beautiful acts of fraternal friendship. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, be the guide and light of my day. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, Creator come, from your bright heavenly throne. Come take possession of our souls and make them all your own. You who are called the Paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. You who are sevenfold in your grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise, teaching little ones to speak and understand. O guide our minds with your blessed light, with love our hearts inflame, and with your strength which never decays, confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our hellish foe, true peace unto us bring, and through all perils guide us safe beneath your sacred wing. Through you may we the Father know, through you the Eternal Son, and you the Spirit of them both, thrice blessed, three in one. All glory to the Father be, and to the risen Son, the same to you, O Paraclete, while endless ages run. Amen. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God, be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble, I call on you, for you will answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things, you alone are God. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love towards me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, the insolent rise up against me. A band of ruffians seeks my life, and they do not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, 
and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Save the child of your serving girl. Show me a sign of your favor so that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame. Because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. From the Gospel of Luke The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has looked favorably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, a Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. As for you, child, you shall be called a prophet of God, the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. Amen. Father, through Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit, we entrust to you all our intentions for this day. For the conversion of sinners, Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls in purgatory, Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world and in our countries, Lord, hear our prayer. For our rulers and leaders, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the Pope, all priests, consecrated men and women, and all the baptized, Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the vulnerable, the sick, the migrants, the poor and the humiliated, Lord, hear our prayer. For a day filled with God's blessings, Lord, hear our prayer. For my family, my meetings, my appointments today, Lord, hear our prayer. For your will to be done in every heart today. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. I, a faithless sinner, renew and ratify today in thy hands the vows of my baptism. I renounce forever Satan, his pomps and works, and I give myself entirely to Jesus Christ, the incarnate wisdom, to carry my cross after him all the days of my life, and to be more faithful to him than I have ever been before. In the presence of all the heavenly courts, I choose thee this day for my mother and mistress. I deliver and consecrate to thee as thy slave, my body and soul, my goods both interior and exterior, and even the value of all my good actions, past, present, and future, leaving to thee the entire and full right of disposing of me and all that belongs to me without exception, according to thy good pleasure, for the greater glory of God, in time and in eternity. Amen. Do not fear, Joseph, son of David. Take Mary, your wife, into your home. Righteous man, you call him Jesus, begotten of the Holy Spirit in Mary. Saint Joseph, father of Jesus, pray for the church and for us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, with your light enlighten us. Saint Michael the Archangel, with your wings protect us. Saint Michael the Archangel, with your sword defend us. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard to rule and guide. Amen. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, a Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast down to hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to you. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. 
our holy guardian angel, watch over us, guard us, protect us. All the saints of heaven, pray for us. All the saints celebrated on this day, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoyed this morning prayer before you start your day, then I invite you to share it with all those around you. So thank you for participating. I want to offer you my free ebook, The Five Essential Keys to Effective Prayer. To download it, please click on the link in the comments, and you can also join the Great Novena of the Moment. I now invite you to pray today's Holy Rosary. The link will appear at the end of this video. Thank you very much, friends, for praying together, and I wish you another excellent and beautiful day. And may the Lord fill you with His grace and peace at every moment. I look forward to praying with you again in the next prayer. Until then, God bless and joy in Jesus.